What's up everybody, Ryan Nelson here, and today I have a technique I wanna share with you on how you can spice up your still tripod shots, the ones that are just like not moving at all, and you're just like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's okay, it's like, it's really pretty, but it doesn't really fit the rest of my B-roll or whatever I'm putting it into. Like, every shot has motion, and then you get to this one shot, and it's like, okay, that's cool, but nothing's, there's like no camera movement. Basically, we're just gonna add a little camera movement to, uh, to our shot here. But before I put one minute on that clock today, today, yeah, today it's Minute Monday. Today is Minute, can you believe it's Monday already? Anyway, before I get to that, stick around because I need your help with something and I also wanna introduce you to my new studio partner. Who could it be? All right, so let's put one minute on that clock and let's get right into it. All right, so let's say you've gone out, you've shot a bunch of clips for a project, you're putting the whole thing together, and then there's just one shot right in the middle that's just very, it's very static, like it doesn't have any motion to it at all. We can fix that real quick. So let's take this shot, for example. It's a really cool shot of a wave coming in and just like smashing all over the rocks and creating all sorts of havoc. But there's no zoom or slide or anything to that. Real easy fix. Come up here under your effects control, put a keyframe, Go a little bit and put another keyframe. And then on this shot, I think I wanted to zoom out as that wave has come crashing in. I'm gonna go down to the first keyframe, set that to about 105% scale. So I'm gonna select both these keyframes, right click, hit easy in, then take that first keyframe, drag it to the beginning of the clip, take that last keyframe, drag it to the end of the clip, put my playhead back at the beginning and hit play. So now you see we get a little bit more of a dramatic motion as that wave comes crashing in. And it just adds so much dimension to the clip and really that's all there is to it. All right, so let's go on to my next clip here. I've got myself sitting in Ryan's lay stand, which we came across in Hawaii. I thought it was pretty fun, but again, it's still, it's a still shot. I didn't have a slider. I didn't, wasn't zooming in or anything like that. So in this one, I kind of want to do a position and a scale. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put two keyframes there. I'm gonna move my playhead just a little bit and put a couple more keyframes. And then, then I wanna go back to the first keyframe. I'm gonna do 110 this time because I want to have a little position motion to it as well. And while I'm there, I'm gonna drag my position down just a little bit. And as that zooms out, it should stay centered. Highlight those keyframes, right click, and go to, let's try easy out this time. So what I'm gonna do is select those first two keyframes, take them to the beginning of the clip, second two keyframes, drag them to the back of the clip. And if you're not digging with what that exactly is doing, change your numbers or move the keyframes around, shorten up your clip, lengthen your clip, and just play with it, see what happens. Okay, well that's the technique for today. It's really, really simple. I know you're probably thinking, God, like, of course I know that. That's it's so simple. Why, why, everybody knows that. But it's the simple things that are often overlooked. And I'm looking at a shot, I'm like, God, like, this just needs something. And oh, yeah, maybe a little motion. That'd help. So sometimes it's just the really simplest things that makes or breaks your video. And I hope this helps you out. I'll be right back. <clears throat> So this little bugger is my new studio partner. Isn't he cute? He's super cute. Okay, well this little bugger needs a name. I, I just, I can't really come up with anything that sticks. So, if you have any suggestions, put it in the comments down below and I hope some part of this is useful for you and I will see you guys next time. What's that pup? What's that? He said, don't, don't forget what? Oh, he says, don't forget to subscribe. If you've made it this far, you should probably just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Boop, say bye, bye bye, bye bye. Nom, nom, nom. Let me just nom on you for a little while. Nom, nom, nom. Gross. Ew, it was in my ear.